up everybody it is your boy big bees out the door adventure come with me and see what we got in store today uh what you'll see on this channel is a lot of fishing a lot of camping a lot of cooking uh maybe even hiking trails we're gonna go over them give ratings and reviews on that but this is an outdoor channel i also have another channel called big Bra big daddy brian thrifts channel but this channel is about the outdoors from maybe hunting fishing picnicking camping uh grilling so anything that deals with the outdoors this is what this is about follow me on my journey we're going to go to beaver lake and go for crappie fishing and pan fishing today so it's a little rainy out here of course i'm going to change my gear get my nice uh, rain gear on and we're gonna go i love fishing in the rain here we go let's take you on my journey all right folks we have made it to beaver lake in anderson county it's a little bit rainy and misty uh we got these branches overflowing dumping into this lake right now i don't know if you can see it through the gopro but it's on the rise but if you go on out towards that way, towards the dam that way, it's not muddy. Just right here. You can kind of see it mixing in right there. So there ain't no telling. It's pumping in there pretty good. But we're, we're still going to go fishing. I got my rain gear in the truck. We're going to get on here in a minute. Go jump in my kayak. But I just wanted to do a little overhaul of the what you would expect to find at Beaver Lake. Uh... See, we got Beaver Lake. This is a Kentucky Fish and Wildlife Lake. If you're in Kentucky or you're wanting to visit Kentucky, um, you have to have a Kentucky license to fish here, of course, residents or non-residents. They got largemouth bass, bluegill, red ear sunfish, crappie, black crappie, warmouth, common carp, green sunfish, channel catfish, bullhead catfish. Motors larger than 10 horsepower must operate at idle speed at all times. That's huge, folks. So if you got a big motor or, you know, you got a big boat, keep it at idle speed. You can put your motor down in the water. They just changed that a couple years ago. It's been not that long ago. So your size limits on largemouth are 12 inch minimum size limit, six fish daily creel. Channel catfish are 12 inch minimum size limit, no daily creel. Red sun, red ear sunfish, no minimum size limit, 20 fish daily krill. I like to get in the mess of them uh, red ear sunfish, they're pretty good to eat. Crappie, no minimum size limit on this lake. And I have caught some nice 15 to 16 inch crappie in here. 20 fish daily krill, so you're allowed 20 of them in this lake. Uh, this lake has been here for a long time. It's a good lake. Looks like they got a life jacket. Looks like they also got a life jacket loaner station. Need a life jacket? Be our guest and borrow one. So you get down here and you forget that you you forget to pack a uh, pack one. Well, they got you taken care of right here. So that's pretty nice. Let's see what else we got going on before we launch and get ready to go on the water. It's rain. There's nobody here. Nobody likes fishing in the rain, but I do. So that means I got the lake to myself when I'm doing this like that. Let's see what else we got. As you can tell, here's the boat ramp. Uh, if you got a bigger boat, I don't know if they fixed this since the last time I've been here, but it has a break in it. And that side there will make it, un when you're uh, backing your truck in, your trailer will be uneven on trying to get it back in there. I've seen a lot of people having troubles with that. So I did want to mention that. Uh, other than that, it's a one lane boat ramp. Pretty nice. But just remember, if you got a longer trailer and go down in there, uh, it might have some issues getting it back on, your boat back on the trailer. Let's see. This is pretty much the same regulations we just seen over there. Largemouth 12 inches, six daily, channel catfish, 12 inch none, red ear, sunfish, 20. You're allowed 20 of them. 
This lake, you can no swimming, camping, or littering it says. No trot lines, jug lines, limb lines, or cast lines. Parking in designated areas only. Pretty much the top rules right there is what I've already went through. So, you know, <laughs> we need to get in this water because it's, look at that, it's pretty nasty out here. But we are still going. I've been in worse. So, let me put on my rain gear and we'll get out there and see what we can catch. folks we're in full gear now we are ready to go fishing a little rain ain't gonna bother me it's raining a little bit harder now but it still ain't gonna bother me but let's get at it fish still biting the rain and i'm gonna show you that they do so folks we're already greening up the water a lot right now uh we got some paddling to do to get to some good spots little rain birds are out though so we're gonna see if we can put some fish in the boat a little windy now too All right, folks, I've been out here a couple hours trying to put something together. Uh, not very much luck. Been catching a bunch of little bluegill. So I guess this is going to be a bluegill show instead. Uh, a lot of baby ones. So we're using wax worms and Popeyes. I'm using the skunk color, the black and white ones. They work really, really well. <clears throat> but it has not been very very good today a uh, bunch of babies biting and playing with my bait uh i have had good success here before but today it just ain't looking very good see they're just playing with it they probably done stole it but we're going to venture around and see if we can catch anything nobody else is on the water it's a nasty rainy day i'm all I'm dry as a bone because I got my uh, rain gear on, but it's uh, April the 6th, and we're going to see if we can put something in the boat. So it's good. Let's bring it off that dock just a piece. There's some grass around them docks that's still in there from, it's been growing over the winter, so I'll kind of want to get it off that a little bit. I don't want to have it all on there ah little tricky boys i think we got him this time what we got what we got here and it's a bluegill pretty nice looking little bluegill nice looking little female Nice little one. Let's put her back in the water. I've been itching to get my kayak out, and this is the first trip with my kayak of this year. Uh, yeah, I've been slipping, but it is what it is. That rain's coming. Let's see if we can hook one in, hook into something here. I suggest inv uh, investing in some nice 
gear, rain gear. Uh oh, we got a bite. He probably done stole it off. That's how it goes, though. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe. Got him. Let's see. What do we got? Hey, we almost had him. It almost don't count, does it? We are back in the truck. My hat got soaked. I'm in a different raincoat. <laughs> uh, it did stay dry for the most part, but I had my arms and pretty wet because i was dipping the bluegill out of the water and stuff but it was just a fun day to be out and about uh i caught a few bluegill nothing to brag about which you can see in the video um waxworm and popeyes were good um uh, didn't catch no crappie it just kept on raining and raining i stayed out a good three to four hours today on the lake um gonna hit some water tomorrow as well so i'll have another video up soon this is my very first video on my channel uh more content to come it's not always about catching fish it's about having fun and learning the area um i hope if you do come up here to beaver lake uh it's a lot of fun and it's a fun lake you don't have to worry about big boats zooming by you and that is very very nice because it's all idle speed so this is a lake that you can definitely fish on there is no supposed to be no swimming on this lake um good variety of fish in here i would take the kids here if you got a family uh i didn't there's no camping here so that's a bummer for if you're looking to camp uh but where i live local close to it uh that's not an issue for me but if you got a camper or something it would be an issue if you're traveling this far thank you for watching big bees out the doors adventure you never know what we're going to do we're going to have some more shows uh we're going to do some hiking shows we're going to do some camping shows uh we're going to do fishing shows as well and cooking so you never know what we're going to do till next time people Big B out.